I've had several people ask for an updated video on how our cabin is doing, so I thought I would knock one out really quickly. Um, as most of you know, the house flood, well, the house didn't flood, the river flooded this winter, and so the house was floating, but now the river's back down to just under five feet, and so we have a front yard again. Yay! And then you can see right now we have water right there, so we pull our boat right up um, another couple feet, and that'll be gone. Just to give you an idea of how high the river was, if you see right there on that tree, right there, there's a screw. That screw marks the 10 foot mark, and the river got up to, what did it get up to, 13? 13 feet? 13 feet. So, three feet higher than that. So, our house was definitely floating. Let me show you what the river is doing now. There's Randy in the hammock. Wave, Randy in the hammock. Hi! And we have a nice side view. Okay, let me tell you what this pole is, this, this gray pole here. We have one here. We have one on all four corners of the house. And what this does is when the house rises with the water, it comes up these poles and it keeps the house from going left or right so that when it sits back down, it sits right back down where we want the house to go. It doesn't hold the house. We, um, these ropes here, we have ropes going to all the trees, um, which we can take down now. We just haven't. And that held the house, you know, from going forward and backward. And then these things, uh, poles kept the house, you know, straight. So when it laid back down, it laid right back down where it was supposed to. <clears throat> and here is our side yard. This scaffolding right here, we're going to push it up closer to the house. We had to move it while the house was up and down so that it wouldn't fall on it. Um, but it's going to come right up against the house. And this is going to be a deck that goes out, um, into the side yard and we have two more of those which you'll see on the other side of the house we're bringing over so we'll have a nice big deck here so we can have a um a place to grill and things and um most of the time the river doesn't go up past 10 feet and this is easily out of the water then so when winter comes we should still have a nice outdoor area to hang out and then if you see can you see in the camera my daughter's swing is right there and let me take you to the back. These um, are finishing strips that we haven't put up yet around the bedroom where we where we put up the um, the uh, screen. And this is our backyard, and you can see the beaver dam right there, which you can see um, later. And we have a canoe here for emergencies or for fun. And you can see our ugly tarp. We're going to replace this hopefully this year with a with a plain white tarp. But you know us in billboards, they're free and we have them, so we used them. But we're going to get one printed. Um, here's a chair for the side yard, but um, I've using the cushions in the front. <clears throat> but here you see our deck and our boat and our little living room area. And this is our makeshift kitchen for now. See my cute um, paper towel holder? <laughs> um, this, again, we're still just using this from last year, but this year we want to put in a built-in kitchen right here with um, a water pump so we actually have, you know, water to wash our hands. And give you another tour over here. I don't trip over the chair. And you can see... Um, we have more scaffolding right here, that which was going to be our original house if you've been following along. And I told my husband, nope, too high, not working. So, um, and our property goes, well, like that third, not the tree that my finger's touching, but like the tree behind it. We, we own all that way. Um, and this will dry up soon, but we're enjoying it while we can. And here's our side yard. And... Here is the closed-in bedroom with the screen. You can see we put the finishing um, pieces here and here, but we have to do it all the way around on the back side, which we haven't done yet. And this board, there's a crack under the door, and I have a phobia of snakes and spiders, so whenever we leave, I push that against the door to keep any creepy crawlies out. But here is our bedroom, and I leave this up during the day as the you know as the couch futon because sometimes it's nice to just sit here and look out but more importantly it just makes for an easier walkway you know when we're changing clothes that's the bathroom right there and um 
so at night this lays down and that's our sheets that, and pillows in there and then these are just changes of clothing to have here you know in case we get wet or whatever it's cold we have cold stuff and you can see right over there is the beaver dam when you walk around get a better look of this beaver dam see it right there I keep wanting to stay the night here because I'm hoping that if I stay the night we can actually get to see the beavers come out and work on it but so far I haven't seen any I think they go in the den when they hear us I'll show you the bathroom the bathroom really hasn't changed since last year it's on my list of things to do but we did get a door on it so that's good and once again, we have the RV toilet with the black water tank below. And since we don't have running water yet, we're just using um, that cup and that bucket to pour water in and flush it. And um, again, still we still have to do the interior walls here. Have a little medicine cabinet. Have a little storage area for toilet paper and whatnot. Have a nice a nice view from the bathroom, screened in, so it gives some you know cool air. Because in the summer, gosh, it'd be so hot in there if we didn't. But anyway, that's what we've done so far. Not a whole lot since last year, but um, hopefully this summer we can do some good, um, some good work on it and some good vlogs for those of you who are following along. But um, anyway, thanks for looking at my cabin and thanks for following along in our cabin build and see you soon.